Hello everybody, my name is Dakota Emmons and this is week 8. Today I'm going to be discussing with you a little bit about why you should switch to Nike Golf products. Nike Golf products were founded in 1984. Um, this was a change for Nike. They weren't too used to uh, dealing with anything in the golf industry as a matter of fact. And they focused more on athletic apparel and clothing and shoes and things of that sort at the time. So in 1984, when their golf line came out, it was a little bit different for them. Um, they did this in order to keep up with competitors and kind of give their customers something else that was by the Nike line um, that would ensure quality and hopefully improve their game over time. Uh, they were made famous in 1996 when they signed Tiger Woods as their signature athlete. However, when they did sign Tiger Woods, uh, according to golf.about.com, the company investors did not like the fact that Nike signed Tiger Woods, and this was weird because Tiger Woods was an all-star athlete. For some reason, the investors didn't really care for Tiger Woods. Um, actually, when Nike signed Tiger Woods, the company lost 5% in their um, stock market because of the signing of Tiger Woods. Um, the team extended to, uh, to 31 golfers in 2001, and there have been uh, signature golfers all over the world that have been selected by Nike's team to participate in their team, as well as college athletes and uh, college teams as well. In 2002, Nike debuted their first clubs. Uh, their first clubs were made out of forged steel, so they're a little bit heavier. Now they make clubs that are made out of graphite, uh, which are a little bit lighter. They're a little bit more forgiving for an older customer, um, someone who doesn't want to lift the weight of swinging a steel shaft club for 18 holes, which is understandable because that gets pretty straining after a while. In 2004, uh, Nike came out with the Slingshot Irons, and these were selected as the Irons of the Year by Golf Digest magazine. I actually have some of these irons that I'm going to show you uh, back from 2002. The first iron I'm going to show you is just a sand wedge. Um, this specific brand of irons that I have are the Slingshots, but they're the Slingshot OSSs, which if you can see here, they have a cavity back design. Um, instead of having a flush design in the back, they have a cavity back. And this sort of allows for more power in your golf swing. Uh, those sets, when they first came out, sold for around $500. Now they've increased and they have improved their design over time. So obviously the price has been driven up a little bit on their clubs. However, as I mentioned, um, with the times changing, they have improved their design. They now not only sell the steel forge shafts, but they sell the graphite shafts as well. With the many different products that they sell, they also sell putters, uh, fairway woods, iron sets, and drivers, along with many different accessories like golf bags, golf balls, and so on and so forth. Uh, 2002 was also actually the year that Nike came out with their first golf ball. Next, I'm going to show you a putter uh, that was part of the Slingshot series. It is called the Nike Ignite, which is known as a blade putter. Um, it's a very simple design. It's not like the new two ball putters that are uh, much wider and they supposedly allow for a little bit more control. Uh, most people still find this blade putter to be, uh, to be very accurate. As I was talking to you a little bit about the graphite shafts, I have a Nike Sasquatch um, three wood driver, which is in a graphite shaft. So the shaft flexes a little bit more. Um, this allows for a more forgiving swing. It, allows for an easier swing. And the shafts also come in different flexes. Um, you have stiff flex, which normally is for people that swing their club at a speed of 95 miles an hour or more. Um, then you have a regular flex, which is used for most players that are middle aged players. You also have a ladies flex, which is used for all the ladies players, and a uniflex, which can basically be used for either or. And also there is a senior flex that um, is used for senior players and the club flexes a lot more so it doesn't put as much strain on them during their swings.
All of those facts were uh, provided by OregonLine.com. Um, I found some good facts about the history of Nike. Also, they have now, as of 2013, um, I'm not sure if they've added some since. I'm sure they have, but from what I could find, Nike has 500 employees that basically market their golf design and uh, work for their golf staff, just specifically the golf staff. Um, back to the driver that I just showed you, or the fairway wood, excuse me, that I just showed you. The Sasquatch line was made in 2005. Um, not only did it come out with the fairway woods for that in a three wood, a five wood, and a seven wood, they also came out with a driver in which you could select the flex and the different flexes that I had spoken about earlier. Um, by GolfLink.com, according to GolfLink.com, uh, when signing Tiger Woods in 1996, this tremendously grew the appeal for Nike golf equipment. Tiger Woods at the time was a big athlete, so with the signing of him, this made people sort of transfer over to Nike um, from different brands such as Titleist and TaylorMade, um, brands that have been around for quite some time. Information provided by GolfAbout.com. Um, in 2013, Nike was selected as the best golf company in the world. This is important because there are so many other good golf brands out there. As I mentioned, you have TaylorMade, Titleist, Cleveland. These are just to name a few. And for that to be, um, for Nike to be elected for that award, that is a tremendous award to be elected for um, for any company. It shows that not only did they uh, put in a good design, they also put in a lot of hard work and they basically delivered what the customer wanted. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Nike has signed 31 golfers since 2001, which is a tremendous amount of athletes. Um, that could be athletes from Tiger Woods to Rory McIlroy. And actually, Rory McIlroy joined the team in 2013. Um, most of the golfers when they're signed by Nike, are fitted out with Nike clubs, Nike golf bag, Nike shoes, and also Nike apparel. So you get the whole effect of nothing but Nike. So everybody everybody gets to see what Nike golf has came out with for the year. Um, the players tend to wear this to show the customers what's new for the year, what's been changed for the year, and so on and so forth. And that is all that I have. Thank you.